Stranger Things Season 5. Who will live? Who will die? What's going to happen? Let's talk about it. A certain rule. Push the laws and you end up dead. This is the moment when the supposedly dead killer comes back to life. Not in my movie. Surprise, Sydney. He's gone mad. We all go a little mad sometimes. A very simple formula. You want to play psycho killer? Everybody's a suspect. No, please don't kill me, Mr. Ghostface. I want to be in the sequel. I'll be right back. Okay, I think it's going to go something like this. I'm Pamela. Welcome back to the channel. Trying to change things up a little bit here. Thought we'd discuss some Stranger Things. I am a fan of Stranger Things. A lot of you guys ask on my live streams if I'm a fan, if I've seen the show, what are my thoughts, who are my favorite characters, and I've just been giving some thoughts to season five. I'm excited for it, and because you guys ask me about it all the time, I figured let's discuss some season five predictions. So I'll start off pretty strong by saying I do think Eddie Munson is still alive. Obviously, you know, he died at the end of season four, but there's all this talk about, is he really dead? Is he alive? Is he going to come back? You know, people ask Joseph Quinn all the time, are you going to be in season five? And he's pretty tight-lipped about it because he has to be. He can't say that he's going to be in it if he is. But I also think the fact that he doesn't straight up say no is pretty interesting. He did just recently tease it a little bit more, I think on the red carpet for a quiet place day one he was asked and he kind of teased it a little bit more i can't remember exactly what he said i'll try to find a clip to insert it for you guys stranger things season five now we know that we lost eddie munson last season but you know what are the chances you might pop down say hey to the crew you know spend some time together check in on him the chances are high i love those guys i'd love to come and say hello i have a feeling that we might see eddie once again do you, you oh, have a feeling? i certainly do huh. yeah i might have that feeling too huh. Or maybe I don't. Oh, no, Who I, knows? Think, I, think I don't know. Who I knows? Think you know what I'm talking uh, about. Maybe I do. You, you smell what I'm stepping in. Okay. So I do think that Eddie is still alive. However, maybe it won't be the current version of Eddie. Maybe it'll be Eddie from 1983. So season four of Stranger Things takes place in 1986, but season one took place in 1983. And in season four, when they go to the upside down, we learn that it's kind of frozen in 1983. Nancy goes to her bedroom in the Upside Down to get her gun, but then she finds out that she doesn't have a gun in her bedroom because she didn't have one in 83. And her room is frozen in 83, and that is the year that Eleven opened the gate. So the Upside Down is stuck in 1983. So what if all the characters who we've lost over the seasons are somehow in that version of the Upside Down, like Barb, Nancy's friend who died in season one, who was a fan favorite. There was a whole movement about <laughs> justice for Barb, bring back Barb. The fans would love to see her again. So what if that's a way for them to bring her back? But not just Barb, but some other characters we've lost over the years as well, like Bob, Joyce's boyfriend from season two, or Billy, Max's brother, and Eddie Munson. I think there's going to be a lot more to come out of the whole 1983 upside down thing. <laughs> now, another prediction that I have that maybe some of you here might not be a fan of, I do think that Eleven is going to die. I don't want her to die, I love Eleven, but I think she's going to die destroying Vecna, saving her friends, and closing the gate. Obviously, she is the one who opened the gate in the first place, so I think it's going to have to be her to close the gate for good. And I think it's going to use a lot of her power and her energy, and it's going to kill her in the process. I think it's going to be super sad, super emotional. All her friends are going to be there to witness it, including Mike. Eleven's probably going to be laying on the ground, dying. Mike's gonna be with her, holding her hand. They're gonna reminisce on the times that they've had, and Eleven's gonna die. She's not gonna make it out alive. Another character I think is going to die is Steve Harrington. 
I just think with the show ending, they really gotta go out with a bang. The stakes need to be high. Not every single one of the main characters can survive. You know, they've all survived for a long time, but now that the show is officially ending, I think they're gonna kill off some of them. I do think it's going to be Steve. Something that really makes me think it's going to be Steve is the conversation that him and Nancy had in season four when Nancy and Steve kind of paired up for a few episodes. Nancy was kind of having issues with Jonathan and her and Steve were getting a little bit closer again. They were kind of reminiscing on their relationship from the past. And this conversation that Steve had with Nancy about picturing their life together in the future, them having kids, or I can't remember exactly what he said in the conversation. Maybe it was like a dream that he had, but he was just picturing his future life with Nancy and their kids. And I'd have this like this really, it's really big family. I'm talking like a full brood of Harringtons, like five, six kids. Remember the dream I told you about? You're there. And I find that almost any time a character starts talking about future plans and having a future happy life, that means they're going to die soon because then that makes their death way more emotional because they're never going to get to have that life that they so wanted. And now if Steve dies, I think Dustin is also going to die. Listen, you guys, I think this final season is going to absolutely destroy us. <laughs> the reason I think that Dustin will die if Steve dies is because he said something. I think it was in season three, the season with the Star Court Mall when Steve and Dustin are like underground of the mall. Dustin said to Steve, if you die, I die. If you die, I die. Okay. I think that's a little bit of foreshadowing right there. Like I said, I think the stakes are gonna be high. It's the final season. They're gonna have to kill off some characters and definitely some of the main characters. I don't think the entire gang is going to make it out alive, unfortunately. It's gonna suck, it's gonna hurt, but I think it needs to happen. So there you have it. Those are five predictions for Stranger Things season five. Just for a little recap, I think Eddie Munson is alive. I think we're gonna be able to see some past dead characters come back because of the whole 1983 thing. I think Eleven's gonna die saving her friends. I think Steve is gonna die saving the kids and Dustin is going to die as well. Leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Do you agree with some of these predictions? Do you have any predictions of your own? Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future posts. If you guys enjoy this video, then I definitely will be covering some more Stranger Things stuff in the future, especially as we start to get some more news about the new season and when the show comes out. I'll do some like recaps and stuff, but thank you so much and I will see you guys next time.